Greetings everyone, the Goods are Night here, and we're going to start off our first 2018 review. So, what are we reviewing? So that came in a bit. It is a fanny pack. A man bag. This delightful little device I have here strapped in my chest. Now it is, well, a fanny pack. You can strap it really anywhere. This one is on the chest because apparently that's how people like to wear this in all the, uh, well, the, uh, what was it, pictures they have online and stuff, and I guess it makes sense. I've tried on the waist, it fits kind of funny. And when we discuss what this fanny pack is for, if you didn't read the, uh, well, you know, the title, well, it's for, um, concealment carries. Now, what's unique is it has this nice little square design here. Now, the square design keeps your mind off of the idea that the actual barrel fits into this little, uh, nubby here. It connects it to the belt. It looks like it'd just have a normal belt stuff running through there, but it does not. And we've got this little pull tab here. So what happens is you pull this tab, and oh, what have we here? And full-sized, fully automatic Glock 18C. Probably a little intense for concealment carry. Although this is a, well, I guess we'll call it a mid-size handgun, because if you really want to start talking about concealable, we get down to the, uh, Glock 42, my personal favorite, I guess, modern day 007 gun. Mind you, these are all airsoft replicas, so, you know, that's fun. Anyway, we've got our fun little full mag here. And this whole thing doesn't look like it fit in the pouch, but how it works is, like I mentioned earlier, these little nubby slots go pretty far in, which enables you to carry some pretty obnoxiously large guns. Gun sits in there, and you've got these pockets and everything. Well, yeah, generally the gun sits there. You've got these two tabs, depending on if you're left or right-handed or how you're going to uh, pull it. And the tab has a piece of Velcro on the end. That Velcro attaches to one of the two points up here, and generally, yeah. And then the zipper just kind of makes you feel better about it. it Close it there, and then these zippers have this. They're not normal zippers, they're designed to break away and open when you grab the tab. And it doesn't always open with 100% consistency, is the other thing to bear in mind. Although honestly, if you can just get that bottom zipper open, like in all fairness, we're just here and we go, eh, you can still... Actually, no, that's going to be embarrassing. Well, guess what? Maybe a bit of training with it will help, or maybe it's just not going to do what you need to do now. I'm still going to wager the Safari Land holsters, written um, high on the belt or something crazy with the active release system, far easier to draw. You're not going to have issues where you're struggling to get your gun out because you're in trouble. And oddly enough, this popped open just fine the first time, so I don't know, maybe I'm packing it weird. So anyway, we've got, okay, so we know the gun fits. It fits a Glock 18 just fine. So what actually goes into the pouch? Well. What we have here is you've got these two little elastic bands that <coughs> they're pictured holding magazines, but I don't know if I trust them. Additionally, the magazine isn't going to fit well with a fuller size gun. Now, per se, we were using, oh god, our Glock 42. It fits in there quite snugly. Throw an extra mag in here. That should fall out. Yeah. So when you start doing things like that with a smaller, more concealable weapon, now the profile is significantly smaller, and I can still carry extra magazines. And when danger rears its ugly head, pop this open, magazine should, eh, it's not falling out. Grab Glock, go pop, 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 run into danger, go mag out, new mag in, <coughs> and you're ready to engage, so. It works better with smaller subcompacts, but you can use full guns if you so desire. <coughs> Assuming the assumption is if you're going in with a Glock 18, you're probably hoping to have those extra shots count because I think the Glock 42 holds like what six or seven rounds, and this will hold closer to uh, I don't know 17. It's a little over twice the capacity, so options there. So you yeah, have these two elastic parts for whatnot. You got some elastic bands in here. I guess again, if your gun's small enough, you can pack two mags here, two mags here, and then the actual gun itself. With the Glock 42, actually, 
If you're feeling particularly spry, you can fit two of them in there with extra mags. Why you do wield? I don't know. I mean, akimbo has only been proven to be a terrible idea, but people like it, so hey! So anyway, there's your elastic bands, there's your deep pockets, and you can always close this up without the quick draw option. And there's also a little lock um, hole here, so you can lock that all together. So, I don't know, I think the chest carry looks best. Now the thing is, if you're carrying a fanny pack, and your fanny pack just happens to say 511, well, anyone who's ever heard of the company, which is going to be quite a few people, are going to know what's probably in there. It's probably not your wallet. It's probably not your cell phone. Those are things that could also be in there, but the other thing is, if you do have like your phone in there, you're talking to someone, they're like, hey man, what, what do you keep in your fanny pack? You're just like, oh, you know, stuff. And they're like, I don't know, TSA agents, like, so what's in the fanny pack? And you're just like, oh, you know, my phone, a gun, a few knives, whatever I could fit in there. So, you know, 511 thing might give it away. You could probably get rid of it if you wanted to. But, yeah, you could probably, it's probably easier to just wear this under your clothing. Don't you beep at me. Wear it under your clothing. Or on the fan, on the waist belt, a little bit high would not be a bad idea, because then if anyone does see the part of the fanny pack, they'll go, "Oh, there's probably just money in there, or whatever." He doesn't want people to know he's a fanny pack. His fanny packs are for nerds. So yeah, there's an option there. We got these two extra compartments here that are too small to really fit anything, but they're nonetheless to I guess really sell the fanny pack idea. And yeah, outside of that, so yeah, the um. There's a slight padding here on the back that helps with ventilation. It's kind of meshy. It's split down the center here in the front, so if you want to hide anything in there, I guess it's an option. Now, the actual cl uh, clip <coughs> tangent, every time I have to talk about clips, be it video clips I'm working on or buckles like this, when the word clip comes up, I'm there's just the desire. It's like, magazine! They're called magazines, but. Right, right over. So there's a little clip here. It's made out of a Lock Monster UTX Flex. It's a cool little buckle. When you actually open it and stuff, it kind of sounds flimsy, but it's a bit more durable of a material than I'm giving it credit for. There's the little elastic bits here so you can, you know, scrunch away and secure your little bandies. And yeah, you pop this open. You can adjust it to a pretty decent size and width and everything. But the thing is, you can't really wear it on the side of your waist. This way. Well, if it's empty, yeah, you know, no problem. But, he said, we close this on down here. We take our Glock 18. Glock 18 goes into pouchy. Now remember, it needs that little corner for it to work. If you try to wear it sideways, it suddenly looks like your uh, your fanny pack has a bit of a uh, a bit of morning wood. Kind of suspicious for a fanny pack, but you know that's a thing. So you can wear it in the front, which is probably the best way. I should probably. I lost weight. I'm sorry. It's ruining the video because I don't want to adjust the straps again. But yeah, you could wear it a bit high under the shirt. Shirt. Oh, focus. Work with me. So wear it. Wear it under the shirt here. State. State. Now look, you can get yourself a beer gut that goes boom. So yeah, you got a few options. You can wear it kind of low. You just kind of have it on. I guess that's why the chest strap just looks and feels more comfortable than whenever something goes wrong, in the event something goes wrong, and you need a handgun, and you go boom. I have the handgun. I am the guy with the, the man with the gun. Uh, but not Pol Pot, even though he liked to be called the man with the gun. Pol Pot was... Kind of a dick, so <clears throat> this review's going well, I'd say. But yeah, so there's all these nice things going on here. Oh, look, there's even more elastic the farther in you go. So I guess if you really, really like your elastic, or maybe you're not carrying a gun, maybe you're just, I don't know, carrying cookies or school supplies. <laughs> 511 pouches and schools oh my god you know like cool school supplies and pencils calculators <laughs> protractors you know 
compasses, fun stuff like that. You carry all your math essentials in your little pouch that just happens to be tactical. Cool! I mean, it's not terribly expensive, and it was just fabric anyway. Now, of course, everything has its faults. Because as we all know, alas, ye old 511, their pouch is made in China. It says China there. I don't know if you can really see it, but it does, I swear. So it says made in China. So, I mean, I, I get it. I do, I do enjoy things to be made in America. But it's not always the case. If it's, it's cheaper to make things in China, and then you sacrifice generally the integrity and whatnot, and you generally hope that it still works out, but you can kind of feel that it's not the same up to snuff material as you generally get. I mean, even what was it Blackhawk was made initially in America, if I remember correctly. Then they're like, hey guys, we can save money if we make things in China and whatnot, so they started doing that. A lot of people went to Vietnam first, and now I was like, yeah, Vietnam, Blackhawk, you're a bunch of nerds. These mooks out of here, I'm going to start getting more 5.11, and then 5.11 started doing the same thing, so. It's the way the economy works. If you wanted to buy this on the state side, though, if they did make this in America, my main guess would be instead of, what, like $30, you'd be looking at more like a $60, $70 pack. May have better materials, but like 70 bucks, so not everyone would buy one. So, your alternative to the uh, active locking system Safari Land holster that can hold a large, large uh, set of guns. Pew pew. Can hold a lot of guns for the gun show. Eee. So, yeah, you know. Pretty cool. I mean, it kind of looks cool. I, I This chest accessory portion is really growing on me the longer I have it. I like the way this looks. I like the way this feels. Throw a jacket on over it for cold weather. Don't. I mean, there's people who wear jackets in the summer, but don't do that. Anyway, I'm finally filming this video because my cold's come down, but it's not gone entirely. And the more I talk, the more painful it becomes as my computer restarts in the background for some reason. So, yeah. So, I mean, okay, it's made in China. A lot of things are made in China. That doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It's not, I mean... As long as your zippers and stuff aren't snagging and opening up and dropping firearms and school supplies all over the area, probably should be carrying both at the same time. There's a song involving pumped up kicks about that. Ugh. I'm gonna put my calculator in here. Actually, what could I put in here? Oh no. You can fit some cool things in here. You can fit something, I mean what? Corner to corner here? Something about that long? There's a few things, I guess. If you really want to carry a suppressor, you can fit suppressors in there. Carry some therm battery cases so you can keep all your CR-134 batteries on your person at all times. There's more options than just firearms. It's just firearms were initially mines. So, key benefit as opposed to say another fanny pack is as long as the elastic nonsense works i'm gonna try it one more time it seems to be hit or miss maybe i just don't have the technique down but honestly it seems like something that you'd want to work consistently 100 percent of the time all the time or 100 percent of the time it works 10 percent of the time that one, yeah. I mean, it seems to be on and off. Maybe there's a left-right push-pull motion to it. Ah, Glock 42, you are so pretty. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's some. There's gotta be some special technique or something to it. But you got two options. You got extra tabs. You got a bunch of things in there. And they do come in different colors. There are ones that emphasize the uh, block here in gray or red or blue. Something to give an accessory, a two-tone comparison to it, so it doesn't look like it can hold a gun, but instead it looks like there's a little pouch here, and then there's a just extra padded supports or secondary pockets unrelated to the inner pouch. So how do I feel about it? I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of it being made in China, but since it seems to work, I'll probably be happy with it until one of the zippers tears or... 
whatever it's gonna do. I mean, I don't think they're YKK zippers. We get a look on the inside here. Now nah, they're probably not YKK zippers, which is generally what you're looking for zipper-wise, but they seem to work nonetheless, so. Good stuff there. I'll find something that fits in this utility pocket. Probably just a ton of painkillers, because I'm almost 30 now, so painkillers become your best friend, so. Yeah, I don't know. Carry some drugs in there. Well, you know, legal drugs, painkillers, cough meds, not the other stuff. Carry something, I mean. It's a cool concept. It's not terribly hot or cold. The padding seems to help with that. And I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably take a stick knife or something and wedge it inside here. Just to give you added options. I guess instead of... An, I'd probably I'd just say carry two extra mags. But you could carry a knife if you wanted to. If you wanted it somewhere else. And the benefit is, if your shirt does fly up, Marilyn Monroe style, you're not going to have your holster exposed or anything, which is good. So... The downside is you're wearing this across your chest or on your waist the whole time and people are pointing at you and threatening to take your lunch money. So, options. Well, with that, if you have any questions, just let me know. It's uh, actually just past midnight here, so I'm going to bed like a responsible adult who should have went to bed two hours ago. Cheers, everyone. Stay chill and I'll see you in the next video.